From the Classic 107 Studios in downtown Winnipeg, 107 Live for Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance. David Liam Roberts is one of Winnipeg's most promising young instrumentalists. Aiken's Memorial winner, past WMC scholarship winner, virtuosi young artist, and most recently, a WMC McClellan finalist. He and his cello have joined me here in the Diamond Lane for your next installment of Birchwood Jaguar 107 Live. Good afternoon, David. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to have you back in the studio. I know you've been to Classic 107 a number of times now, but since you were last in, I think it was back in November, right? You were opening for the Dover Quartet? Yeah, I think that was the last time. Well, I'm curious. You've been you've been busy since then. I mean, it's a busy time of year for most instrumentalists, but you've, Absolutely. you've, been, you've been finishing up grade 12, right? Yeah. It's, well, it has, what's, what's that been like? It has been a busy time for sure. Um, finishing up grade 12, uh, I spent like a good two months just preparing uh, university applications. And what's that been like? Uh, very busy. Yeah. I probably spent like most of the year doing that kind of stuff. It's like hundreds of hours. How many schools did you apply to? I applied to five. And um, have you heard back yet? I've heard back from uh, all of them. Yeah? Um, McGill University, uh, the Glenn Gould School in Toronto, uh, University of Ottawa, the Juilliard School, and the Manhattan School of Music. Wow. So um, yes, I've heard back from all of them and uh, all of them offered scholarships. Um, I'm just comparing uh, scholarship offers right now. No but kidding. Yes, well, exciting. Good, congratulations. That's, that's beyond exciting. So you, you apply to five, <laughs> you get accepted to all five. I mean, I, I'm sure that any of them would be lucky to have you. I, you haven't made a decision yet, though, right? I haven't, no. Okay, so but, you don't need to reveal that on Classic 107. But yeah. <laughs> uh, it, 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 I know it's a big decision, especially for a young performer. Um, I'm curious, how did you decide on which schools to which to apply? Well, uh, definitely the biggest thing to take into, uh, into consideration is uh, the teacher, mm -hmm. um, which teachers are there. Uh, so for me, that was the biggest, um, uh, the biggest factor. Uh, so on, and at all of those schools, uh, there are teachers that study there that uh, I know very well. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, there's uh, um, one in particular, um, uh, Hans Jensen, um, uh, Andres Diaz, like uh, lots of teachers that I've studied with at uh, programs. So I kind of look at that and uh, also take into, co into consideration this, the school, um, what, what, what the school is like academically. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, kind of uh, weigh what the uh, benefit would be in, in a four-year degree. It's a long time, so it is. But it, <laughs> at the same time, it goes so quickly. Like I feel like my yeah. undergrad was just yesterday, and no, uh, it yeah. really wasn't. It, it flew by. Um, but it, it's such a critical time in a, a young Definitely. player's career. Yeah. But but an exciting time. Um, yeah. Speaking of exciting times, uh, you're here ahead of the WMC McClellan competition finals. Yes, you get to perform with orchestra. How does that feel? Uh, it's an, an incredible opportunity. Like uh, like even professionals. Um, rarely get the opportunity to play uh, as soloist with an orchestra. Uh, it's just kind of a, a rare uh, thing for some reason. Uh, and so that was kind of, the, I think, one of the main reasons that uh, this competition was created, which I think is great, um, just to give uh, kind of young uh, artists an opportunity to uh, play as a soloist with an orchestra um, before they're professionals mm -hmm. um, in some cases. So. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm playing the Dvorak Cello Concerto, wow, uh, which is uh, one of the longest concertos actually in the in all of the string it's a big repertoire. One. So it's, it's, it's a big one for sure. Yeah, it's about 40 minutes long. Um, yeah, uh, it'll it'll be great uh, working with Julian Pelicano. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to rehearsing with the orchestra and working with them. So you mentioned the Dvorak's about 40 minutes or so, right? H have you prepared in a, a different way than you would for, say, a solo recital? Like, how, how have you gone about preparing for this this big, big debut? Um, yes, uh, definitely. I, I, prefer, I, I prepare in different ways um, for, like, a shorter or longer performance. Um, like, if I'm just playing a short showpiece mm -hmm. um, for, for some kind of concert, um, I won't I won't play it like to pieces mm -hmm. <laughs> be, beforehand, um, but definitely with a longer program, um, yeah, you definitely want to um, play play it through the whole program um, in its entirety um, several times before to kind of build your stamina. So, 
uh, that's I've definitely been doing that a lot. <laughs> and rightfully so. It's like a, a runner building towards a marathon, right? You couldn't definitely. just show up and, and play it. You've, you've really got to prepare for the thing. Yeah. Um, this is a really outstanding concert, uh, if I can say so. Uh, WMC McClellan are awarding $20,000 worth of, of total prize money. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it really is, and it's so outstanding that it's here in Winnipeg. What does it mean to you as a young performer to be part of this final that, that awards uh, such a, a generous amount of money? Um, I mean, it's it's great. It's very unique, actually. Uh, there are a bunch of uh, most international competitions, really, um, especially for um, you know people my age. Um, I guess there are bigger international competitions that have you know uh, more prize money, but mm-hmm. this is way up there. And just the fact that it's a kind of a local competition, only open to people who are uh, connected to Manitoba in some way, is. Um, yeah, it's really unique that there's so much uh, money available. So, And it's got to be very encouraging as a young performer to make it this far, right? I mean, just to get the nod from WMC McClellan and say, like, look, we, we'd love to hear you performing with uh, with the orchestra, and you're the sole instrumentalist. Does, does that add, Does that add any sort of pressure? Is it kind of nice to be the only instrumentalist? You know, how, how does that feel? Well, I mean, uh, every competition is different. Mm-hmm. Um, every, every jury is looking for different things. Um, so... Um, yeah, it's a it's a big honor. There were uh, there were pretty much everyone in the semifinals was more than qualified to be mm-hmm. in the finals. So um, being uh, picked to be in, uh, to be in the finals is uh, just a great opportunity that I hope to uh, really take advantage of um, and play my best. Well, you're here with your cello. I want to ask you before you go. Would you mind playing something? Absolutely, yeah. All um, right, so this isn't going to be the Dvorak, though, just to clarify. Like, we're not doing, like, a little 40-minute retrospective. No, no, I, the, okay. <laughs> I won't give you a, a foretaste of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll play, uh, actually, a piece that's completely different. Uh, it's by Witold Ludoslawski, uh, a Polish composer. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, this piece is called uh, Zacher Variation. Um, it's kind of interesting because he wrote this as a commission by Rostropovich um, in the 70s. Rostrovich commissioned like um, I think like 20 composers or something, 20 prominent composers, including Ludoslavsky, to write this piece. And um, the reason was uh, to kind of commemorate this um, really popular uh, music philanthropist mm-hmm. at that time named Paul Zacher. Mm-hmm. So uh, all of these composers um, wrote this uh, wrote a piece um, based on the letters of uh, Zacher's name. So um, like, how do you do that if if you have like an S, uh, H, um, an R? So there's actually a um, some kind of uh, I I'm not experienced. I, I don't uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, um, the S actually means uh, an E flat. Yeah. And uh, the A obviously is an A C. And uh, the H is a B natural. B natural. It's like the Bach motif. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so um, this piece is kind of based on that, um, I guess you could call it a melody. And you'll hear it uh, throughout the piece uh, um, coming back in, in different ways. Um, and then there are kind of two separate voices in addition to that. Um, one that's kind of uh, quiet, uh, not very strong, but strong, uh, not strong in volume, but strong in uh, rhythm. And then there's a, this other voice that's kind of oppressive, uh, um, mostly loud. So you'll kind of hear this uh, one transcendent voice uh, that uh, that uh, is the name Zacher um, in a melody. So it's a cool piece. No kidding. Hope you enjoy. So, so while you get set up, I will let all of you listening know that you can see David Liam Roberts, one of the three WMC McClellan competition finalists and the sole instrumentalist, perform this Sunday with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra for a share of $20,000 worth of prize money. The competition is being hosted by Classic 107 uh, Claudia Garcia de la Huerta, and it takes place at the Jubilee Place Auditorium, MBCI, that's 173 Talbot Street, from 2 to 5 p.m. Tickets are just $35. Here's David Liam Roberts to give us a little sampling of his playing.
David Liam Roberts in the Diamond Lane. David, thank you for doing that. I don't think I've ever heard Ludislavsky on the show before, so definitely Absolutely, appreciate yes. it. It's definitely inaccessible. A lot of horror <laughs> tones in there. <laughs> no kidding, but it was a joy to watch you perform it. I really enjoyed just sitting here and taking it in. I had to take the headphones off for a little bit just to, to really enjoy it in its uh, full capacity that way. Thanks right. so much for being here this afternoon, David Liam. Absolutely. It's my, it's my pleasure. 107 Live is Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, brought to you by Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance.